identified underwater vehicles moving in ways that don't make any sense at all. T tell us what you know about that. The TR-3B, the phenomenon is real. We want to thank Jose Sanchez for sharing his incredible artwork in regards to the TR-3B. What's being seen across the country and the world? Is it one of ours or is it reverse engineered technology? Third Phase of Moon has been taking calls from the public for years now. Many of the people that have called in have witnessed the TR-3B for themselves. Tonight, you're going to hear some of the eyewitness testimony of the infamous TR-3B. Let's get to it. Buckle up, everybody. This is Third Phase of Moon. Where are you calling in from? Going good. I'm calling from Indianapolis, Indiana. All right, all right. Well, uh, welcome to the show. You're coming in loud and clear. Uh, sounds like you got something you want to share to the world. I'd sure like to hear it. Uh, yeah, I. Um, it's not like real exciting, like abduction or <laughs> anything like that. But um, we were camping back around like May 18th, 19th, and the 20th. And um, I was, we were out like stargazing and kind of, you know, sky watching. It's kind of a thing we do. And, uh, didn't see anything the first night. The second night, I was out there, and I just happened to be looking up in the sky, and I, w I was watching, like, some planes flying around. There was, like, probably about, like, six or seven of them, you know, flying around, and I caught these three lights, you know, and I was, like, watching them because I thought, those don't look like the normal planes, and I so I just started just, like, tracking just those and watching them, and I watched it for, like, 10, 10 15 minutes total, but about 10 minutes in it turned and like flew by me and I just was like in shock amazed it was a huge black triangle the first time I had ever seen one I was like like couldn't turn away I didn't I didn't like want to walk away and miss anything but I was just so like excited because I had never seen anything like that I've always looked and you know sky watched and we've talked about it and I like I never see anything you know and it was just huge and it was like low down it wasn't really high up I was surprised I thought wow if I had like a throwing arm I could have like hit it with the football <laughs> but it was it had it only had lights at the corners of it so three lights at each so like the triangle you know each corner was lit up and it just sat there silent as can be did not move just hovering above me for probably a good like five to eight minutes like I was just like wow like I couldn't believe how huge it was like huge I would say like as big as a Walmart you know and um, it was silent no sound at all and I just watched it just slowly go on by and then it just turned and I was watching it and it just after it turned I I and went off real slow I lost it and I was like and I was like so excited I went because I wanted him to see it. He had went in the camper, and I was like, oh, no, you missed it. I was so, like, I couldn't believe it. It was the coolest thing I had seen. And I said, I know this. It was either a TRB-3 or a alien triangle, one or the two. It wasn't a plane, you know what I mean? It was, it was one of the two. Incredible. Uh, you said it was so close to you that you... Felt like you could have thrown something at it. So this is no more, uh, no more than thirty or fifty feet above your head, or so. Um. Well, I, I wouldn't. I I wouldn't say maybe that close, but like, um. Okay, there was a tree not far up, like too far um in front of me, and it wasn't like much higher than the top of the tree. You see what I'm saying? It, it, it compared to like a plane flying by, 
or helicopter or something like that, it was nowhere near as high as that. You think anybody in the neighborhood spotted the same thing you did? Was, was there any reports talk in the town about this sighting you had? You know, I'm not sure where we were camping at. Like, I, I seen, like, some people were out, but, like, I seen people were outside, but I thought, I wonder if they're wondering why I'm, like, just standing in the middle of the road because there was, like, a, like a little road to, like, go to, up to, like, the shower house and stuff. <laughs> I was wondering if they thought, like, what is this lady doing just standing up in the road, just standing there? But I don't know if anyone saw it, but I thought the craziest thing about that was um, not when we got back home, I wasn't even like three days went by. Uh, someone on YouTube had posted in another state that they had seen the exact same thing, a video. I'm not sure if it was your channel or if it was Kyle's or maybe even have been um, another channel. I'm not quite sure. But it, was, it was one of them. I saw it and I was like, I was showing him. I was like, oh my God, look, look. I was so excited. I was like, this is what I saw. I was like, this is the exact same thing. And in the, the, that same night, it was the same night I saw it just in another state. And I said, I wouldn't be surprised if it was the same one because how fast and calmly and quietly it moved that it could just, you know, fly from state to state probably, you know what I mean, within the matter of minutes, you know. Now, here's another caller who has called in to share their experience in regards to the TR3B. Dexterel 2, you're live, third phase moon. How are you doing tonight? Good. How are you doing, Blake? Oh, man, I, I'm doing awesome. After I just uh, saw this video and the photos coming in out of Orlando, Florida, something something big and massive just uh, flew over there last month, and uh, we got some great video. What's going on? Where are you calling in from, sir? You got something you want to share tonight? I'm calling in from Phoenix, and um, I wanted to tell you a story about what happened to me about 22 years ago. I was out... And I was going to go ride a snowmobile. And so my friend told me I could go ride this snowmobile whenever I wanted. It just snowed. Anyway, I'm biking up this huge hill to go to this house. And next thing you know, I either see a TR-3B in the, in the sky or I see some kind of unidentified flying object. And it just hovered there for about 30 seconds going up this hill. And next thing you know... It went across the sky so fast, and it just left a little trail of light. And I was waiting for the sun boom, but it never happened. Now, let's get to the third caller who has an experience with a TR-3B that's out of this world. It wasn't moving. It wasn't making a sound. It was shaped uh, kind of like a triangle, but it was a... Uh, I can't think of that shape. It's like... It's kind of like a point, but then it has like a um, square back, something like that. Um, but we were just looking at it. So you're you're seven years old. How many how many of your friends were there? Who who, who were all there during this? It was me, my cousin, and my mom. All right. So okay, that's cool. So there's multiple people witnessing this. What what's going on between your cousin and your mom? What are what's their reaction. You're only seven years We're, old. So our, heart you're like, is, our heart is beating. <laughs> My heart is just beating. And um, I, I didn't know what to do. I was scared. I didn't know what to do. I was just, I just was like in shock when I was looking at it. Because it, it's like I, I couldn't believe what I was looking at. And I wasn't really paying attention to what everybody else was doing because I was just like, am I really seeing this? Or... And I'm just looking at it. And next thing you know, it gets ready to leave and it's like, and it just disappears. And what's crazy is that next day, our neighbor from two houses down, which is my uncle's best friend, he yes, came yes. over and he said he heard banging on his roof as well. And I oh. told him what happened. Banging on the roof. Wow. Now that's uh making my hair rise on my arms right now in the back of my neck that's that's scary so this is you're only seven years old let me let's just back up before uh, we get to the neighbors down your uncle down the street um so what did immediately after this thing whoop, and took off what what did you and your uh your cousin and your mom think about that i'm sure you're gonna go to your mom and 
kind of get some comforting of like, oh, is everything okay, mom? What what was that? No, I was just, I was in so much shock. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And then it just disappeared. It just like, you know, I'm watching it and I'm just, I don't know what happened to it. Just like, and just disappeared. And my mom said there was a guy across the street that disappeared. And then now today, she don't want people to think she's crazy. So she'll tell people that she didn't see it. I said, Mom, you know you've seen that. And she'll say, yeah, I did. She said, I just don't want people to think I'm crazy. I said, Mom, I said, and then I, and I told my neighbor, <laughs> my neighbor about it. And he said, um, I told him I was on the phone with you guys, with you. And he said, you got me out here looking for spaceships. <laughs> Wow! Wow! So wait, so you there was a car that disappeared as the craft was accelerating up into the atmosphere. Did I hear that? No, right? it was a person. It was a person that disappeared. My mom oh, said wow, that there that's was even a, more a man. crazy. A yeah, man that got abducted right before your eyes. She told me she said there was a man standing right across the street and he disappeared. Oh. And then. Stunned silence. It, it, you know, I'm just amazed by this. This is, this is. Did did you explain how it disappeared? Was there some kind of like a beam, or just basically it just, the man just disappeared right in, uh, right there, dematerialized? You know I never asked her. I never asked her about that. All she did was tell me there was a man standing right there and he disappeared because I, I was into the spacecraft. I was like, I was, I was like, I was zoned out from everybody else. I was into that. And it's like, it was a big shock to me. I was like, what is that? You know, I'm a little girl looking at it like, what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> and you, well, know I, you know, I, I can just, understand how, why you're excited right now. And man, and people are really amazed on your story right here on the flash chat. But okay, exactly. Can you give us like, I don't know, seven, you're seven years old. Do you remember the neighbor? Can you give us the name of the neighborhood? What state and uh, possibly exactly what year and month? Okay, I don't remember the year and the month, and I don't really know if I was seven or not, but I was, I'm thinking I'm, I was around that area. But it was in Fremont, California on Besco Drive, 399, was it 3997 Besco Drive? Yeah, it was on Besco Drive, though, and it was in Fremont, California. And that's something that right. would stick with me for the rest of my life. Yeah, that's, you know, you would think that once you experience something like this, it never leaves you. And that's what's uh, great about UFO sightings and alien encounters. And, you know, witnessing a, hu a human abduction right before your eyes and your mom's saying this and she was afraid to tell anybody. They weren't things like this. Third phase of the moon wasn't around during those, these days. I bet you if it, those days, I bet you if third phase of the moon was around. When no, you were seven crazy. years old, she would have called in it's and crazy. shared this with us. Yes, I would have. Because, you know, it's like now that I'm older, I'm always looking for answers. I'm always trying to see if I can see it again. And, like, I, 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 I subscribe to your channel and also Secure Team 10. And um, I love you guys. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe one day... You know, this is kind of a neat experience for me because, you know, I'm actually talking to someone who who really is interested in my story. Everybody else thinks, okay, she, no, that's not true. That didn't happen. But they weren't there, so they really don't know. No, 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 no. Wrong. We are, that's what, we're so interested in this stuff. That's, and to get it out to the world, because there's so many people like you. Christy, that have experienced it. I don't know about the exact same thing, but yours is quite extraordinary, this uh, circumstance. Seven years old, your mom and cousin were there. Let's, uh, let's go in. So a couple days later, your uncle said he heard banging on his rooftop. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. Now, what's that all about? I don't know, but it, it gave me chills down my spine because I remember him talking to my uncle and he was saying that he heard a lot of banging. He said he didn't know what it was, if it was rodents or or what it was. And we and I told him my situation. I told him, well, we heard banging on our roof and the electricity went off. And we went outside. We had our knives and stuff because we were scared. We didn't know if somebody was trying to get in the house. I don't, 
to to this day, I don't understand why we went out the house instead of just being in the house. I don't know yeah. who was going. Wow. Uh, you know, and your mom says, "Here, take this knife. Let's go outside and go fight whatever whatever's out there." That that's kind of a weird. Maybe you were compelled to go out there. Is what my my theory is. I don't. That's strange. Well, I guess maybe she was thinking like, "Well, let's go out in the open so we don't get killed in the house, like stuck inside the house, so you know, and be out in the open." I don't. I don't know, but and it's strange. It's real strange. I'll never forget it. The thing was huge, yeah. though. It was huge. And I'm not saying it's because I was a little girl, because I remember the street lights, and then it, I remember how wide the streets were, and it was and it was hovering so low, and it's like um, mesmerizing. <clears throat> you know, Fremont, California, some people are saying is pretty much a hot spot for UFO activity. And back in the day, there were not so many video cameras out, but I recall we have some videos over the past year submitted from that area. So that is uh, quite interesting. But man, this is uh, the story that you're telling us. Let's, let's just back it up. What were, you be- what were you doing right before your mom decided that you guys all should go out with your knives? Let's, let's start from the beginning on that. How did... How did it uh, reveal itself? You okay, went to like school that day. Was the, it on the weekend? The but I want to hear more. Okay. I don't know if it was the weekend, but I remember we just got our baths and my cousin was staying over. And my cousin was young like me, too. His name is Jimmy. And um, we had our pajamas on and everything. And and um, you know how running around your little kids and talking and and next thing you know, we just hear like a supersonic like boom, 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 on our roof like somebody just stomping on our roof and it was it was scary it was real scary and the electricity started flickering and it went off and then I didn't know what to do but my mom was like she started going in the drawers pulling out knives and, <laughs> and we already had you know like because during during that time we had our little blankets and stuff like that in the living room we watch tv and stuff and so we carried the blankets out and some knives and we went out on the front lawn the front lawn was pretty it was pretty big and uh so we're just standing out there looking around to see what we see on top of the roof that's what i remember and then next thing you know there's this big huge spaceship just hovering not making any noise at all just right there and I didn't know what I was looking at. I didn't know if, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if something was going to come out of it or, <laughs> I didn't know. So I was like, uh, what's going on? And I'm just looking at it and I'm not paying attention to anybody else but the spaceship. And I don't even know how long it was there. So when you, when you're witnessing this uh, craft up there, basically stationary in the night sky, not making pretty much any noise whatsoever, except basically whatever rattled your roof that that uh, that night. Sounded like maybe a sonic boom, but you would have thought other neighbors would have came out, and the whole neighborhood would have been startled. So there was no other activity going around on the streets. It was your there cousin? Was you, no, nothing. It was dead silent on the street. You guys witnessed this with your knives in your hand. When you witnessed this, you must have felt like, how am I going to fight this thing with with this knife? And I wasn't thinking. I felt at peace with it. Um, I didn't feel threatened by it, which was crazy. I felt like peace. Like, I didn't feel like I was going to be harmed. I just kept looking up at it. I didn't know I was, what I was waiting on was something to come out of it or me to go up. I didn't know what. <laughs> at that time, I was just just staring at it because I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. It's like, wow. And then when wow. it took off. Wow. Yep. Go ahead. Then when it took off, it just made a noise just like that. And so you couldn't see it anymore. So you went back inside the house. What what did your mom say after that? Like, did you guys 
kind of like bounce bounce off each other like what you guys just experienced because I know after seeing a UFO you want to talk about it absolutely and my heart was beating so fast I couldn't believe what I was seeing and then my mom started talking about the guy across the street it's like I was more into the spaceship she was more into the guy disappearing so and then we would talk about it my mom she didn't want me to talk about it anymore because she said people would think we were crazy and, you know, and, oh, we didn't see that and, and try to be kind of like nonchalant about it, you know, like, and then if I would tell somebody, they would think I'm crazy and they'll start laughing and, you know, I tell other little kids about it, they'll start laughing. So I was like, um, and it's now I'm all into the Nibiru planet and, and I'm all, you know, watching about the UFOs and just hoping one day I'll see another one. It's like I'm always looking in the sky. Only thing I see now is chemtrails. I don't see anything anymore, but that's, yeah, that's something that I will yeah. never forget. Sure thing. Yeah, you're looking for the good stuff from when you saw this stuff when you were seven years old. Because uh, what you saw that night sticks with you. And that is just an amazing a wow moment for third phase moon radio because what we just heard tonight people is it's about as good as it gets from uh, the testimony you can't make this stuff up wow uh, i gotta thank i gotta thank uh, you christy for sharing your experience let me get it right is it christy or cookie people are like saying it's cookie <laughs> okay <laughs> oh, but that's okay uh, that's... i just let i just let you keep going with it <laughs> Wow, that's a, such a great name, Cookie. Cookie, if you're, is your mom still uh, with us? Well, my real name is Jennifer, and um, everybody calls me Cookie. That's just my nickname. But yes, my mom, she's still here. Wow, we, if she uh, has enough uh, guts like you, Cookie, to come on uh, Third Phase of Moon, we'd sure like to have her on. So, you know, a personal invitation, we'd sure like to get her side of the story on that. Uh, because what's more weirder in a day to see a UFO or see a person vanish before your eyes, possibly into that uh, UFO that you just witnessed. Wow. Uh, amazing cookie. Jennifer appreciate it. So incredible. I enjoy, I enjoy watching your show. Well, we enjoyed listening to uh, the people like uh, you've just heard it. People, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Third phase of moon, more updates coming in. That's that's amazing. I want to thank everybody from around the world who joined us on this live premiere YouTube channel. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this, and if you witnessed the TR3B yourself, reach out to us. Tell us your experience, and if you captured it on video, upload it to YouTube. Copy paste that link to my email. We'll take a look. Everybody, keep your eyes on the skies. Be safe out there, Blake Cousins. We'll see you real soon. Confirms something that's been rumored for a while. Late last year, a U.S. Navy F A 18 fighter jet took a very clear photograph on a personal phone of a triangle shaped unidentified aerial phenomenon. That vehicle, whatever it was, appeared to be.